Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another Assassin's Creed video. Today, I just wanted to have a little bit of fun and talk about my favourite moments in the latest instalment of the AC franchise, Assassin's Creed Origins. So since I've done this video for all the other major Assassin's Creed titles, I feel it's only fitting to do the same with Origins. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here is my top 5 moments in Assassin's Creed Origins. Coming in at number 5 is the Scarab Assassination Mission. This was certainly one of the most fleshed out target sequences in a long time for Assassin's Creed, and it made the assassination itself all the more impactful. I found the build up extremely interesting and very well written. Getting to know the Scarab's family and then helping him with the defense of his village without knowing he's actually the target we're searching for, only to then be betrayed and left out in the desert to rot. As soon as Pyek started looking unwell after he took a sip of the Scarab's drink, I was like, oh shit, he's the Scarab, what a dick. Even the assassination itself, after making your way out of the desert and into the mission area, it felt like a proper old school Assassin's Creed 1 figure it out yourself assassination mission. Here's your target, now do whatever you want to do to get him. The mission gave the players options, fun strategic stealth, as an addition to the great story element of killing the Scarab. Even a little tidbit that I loved that they added in, because this mission did feel important, in the Hidden Ones DLC, the sun is even featured in it, after he's all grown up and wants to hunt down Bayek for revenge. It just adds to that little bit extra that I felt this target in particular as the Scarab had within it that some of the other targets, especially in the older Assassin's Creed games, just don't seem to really have anymore. It was just a well planned out side target story that I thoroughly enjoyed while playing Origins. At number 4 is the opening dialogue scene for Bayek, where Bayek is at the Bent Pyramid and kills one of the Order of the Ancients members, Rujek. This scene was so intense and probably the most well performed scene I've seen an actor do in Assassin's Creed. It got me interested in Bayek as a character from the very beginning of the game and absolutely showed you a side of him that has an edge of darkness to it. It was just so interesting. I could see he was a broken man, but that is also what makes him so dangerous to those he's hunting down. It made me interested to see what it was that drove Bayek to such anger and got the game off to a great start. That moment is undeniably one to remember. At number 3 actually comes from the Hidden Ones DLC expansion for Origins. The ending of that DLC, I felt, was such a major part of the Assassins, Bayex, and Amunet stories in the game and the franchise as a whole. It shows both the difficulty and sense of duty that Bayek and Amunet have to each other and also the Hidden Ones. You can see their love for each other still exists strongly within them, while they both also know they cannot be together, and that what they're doing with their hidden ones is for the greater good. In terms of the Order of Assassins, it is a pivotal moment also that shaped them. The tenets of the Creed continues to grow and develop with the addition of Never Harming an Innocent, becoming a key component of the Creed at this point, based on the story that was told throughout this DLC. While also after their first risk of revealing themselves to the populace, to their enemies, it almost breaks them in Sinai. The Order learns from their mistakes and takes that lesson to protect the Assassins, to never compromise the Brotherhood. I just think that the Hidden Ones did a fantastic job in the end of establishing some of the major points that the Order did not get a chance to do in the main game, due to the story arc they were trying to tell. At number 2 though, is Bayek and Aya on the beach forming the Assassin Order, or the Hidden Ones. There was so much build up to this inevitable moment in this game, both as a storyline, since the game is titled Origins, and for our characters, Bayek and Aya. To see the first real formation of the Brotherhood of Assassins was not necessarily something I really ever needed to see as a fan, but for what it was, it was undeniably a special and definitely important moment in the franchise. It stood out as a moment that the Brotherhood of Assassins had been formed and their ideals were being brought to light. For Bayek and Aya, it was also a massive moment for their inevitable separation in their relationship. The two had been growing apart through the whole game and Bayek felt it coming. Aya knew what she felt she had to do and though Bayek did not want to believe it at first, he too saw what destiny lay ahead for him. The two of them had a great responsibility ahead and the rest is history. 
Finally coming in at number one is Bayek's final scene in Assassin's Creed Origins. This scene, the first time I played through the game, gave me goosebumps and just took the game full circle for Bayek to me. Throughout the whole game, Bayek had been trying to find closure for the death of his son. But we learned throughout Bayek's journey that no matter who he kills, that you can't really ever get over what happened. But he could find a new path to take. Something else that could somehow fulfill him. Bayek is a character that, throughout a journey that he took for his own personal reasons, he's clearly a man that was inclined to just help others. Bayek learned from his faults as a man and as a father, and found the best peace he could with helping those he could. So to see Bayek as a hidden one and helping others as he had at the end just felt fitting to me. But to see this young boy who was scared and alone asking the same thing that his son Chemu had asked, that he was too scared and he wanted someone to take him home. To hear Bayek say that he'd take this boy home safely just got me so emotional really at the end. The scene was simple, it was humbling, just as Bayek as a character is. So, those are my top 5 moments in Assassin's Creed Origins. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. I'm worried I may have forgotten a few key moments of the game there that probably belonged on this list. So, if you have ones that you think belonged on this list, let me know for sure down in the comments. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.